Pre-labor. Pre-labor is a pre-monetary stage before the onset of actual labor. In the prime gravida, the pre-monetary stage lasts for two to three weeks and in multi-para for a few days. The main features of pre-labor are lightning, cervical changes, and false pain. Lightning is a process in which the lower uterine segment relaxes and the presenting part of the baby enters into the pelvic cavity of the mother. After lightening, the baby is in the lower uterine segment and the uterine fundus no longer push the diaphragm up. This relieves the mother's breathing difficulty and makes it difficult for her to walk. Another main feature of the pre-labor is cervical changes. The cervix becomes soft, short, and opens up to let the baby pass through it. The process of cervix becoming short is called the cervical effacement or taking up of cervix. The process of cervix opening up is called cervical dilatation. During pre-labor, the cervix dilates and admits one finger easily. The phenomenon of cervical softening, effacement, and dilatation during the pre-labor is called the ripening of cervix. Another important feature of pre-labor is the appearance of false pain. It is commonly seen in the prime gravida. This is the pain or irritation felt before the onset of true or actual labor pain. False pain can be caused by the stretching of the cervix, the irritation caused by lightning, and the psychological factor that all the mothers are waiting for labor and can easily mistake every pain or irritation as labor pain. Other significant changes during pre-labor are the joints in the maternal pelvis, the symphysis pubis, and the sacroiliac joints relax. The pelvic floor muscles also become lax and there will be increased vaginal secretion. All these will help in the smooth passage of the baby through the birth canal. During pre-labor, the mother experiences false pain, breathing difficulty is relieved, because the uterine fundus exerts no more pressure on the diaphragm and the lungs. There is difficulty in walking, mainly due to lightning, and also because the pelvic joints are relaxed. Urinary incontinence is common because the pelvic floor muscles are relaxed and there will be increased vaginal secretions.